In 2016, Airbus stole a march with their state-of-the-art plane, the A320neo. It was designed as a new super fuel efficient plane with minimal need for pilot retraining. It became the fastest selling commercial jet in history. Boeing hoped their upgraded 737 with its biggest ever engines would take it on. But the engine was just too big to fit in the original location. So Boeing engineers moved them higher and further forward on the wing. The 737 MAX was born. However, moving the engines meant the MAX handled differently in certain circumstances to the old 737. They were going to put into the flight control computers the couple of lines of code to compensate for this, and they described how it was going to work. The software's name was Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, otherwise known as MCAS. MCAS was designed as a safety feature for certain rare flight conditions. If it thought the plane's nose was too high, it had the power to push it back down. It would base its decision on this sensor. From inside the flight simulator, expert instructors are trying to reconstruct the tragedy. It seems like a normal flight on a normal day, but soon thereafter, something happens. Moments after takeoff, a suspected bird strike destroys the sensor connected to MCAS on the nose of the plane. Pilots don't know it, but MCAS has just commandeered their plane. Without the sensor, MCAS doesn't have the right data and mistakenly forces the nose down. Okay, you're losing altitude, you're 1,600 AGL. Oh, they're back. Pilots try to counteract it with a nose-up command, Okay, pitch up with me. MCAS immediately again attacked the flight and put the nose down once again. Caution, terrain. Pitch up, please. Okay. For 35 up. seconds, the pilots try and regain control of the aircraft. And they followed the guidance put out by Boeing and the FAA to use the cutout trim switches and turn the electric trim off. Okay, step trim cutout switches, cut out. Okay, step trim cutout switches, cut out. MCAS is disabled. But now they're trying to manually trim the nose back up. 25 knots. I can barely move the trim. But we see that the pitch trim is not responding as it needs to to save this flight. Oh, very difficult. Very, very difficult. Keep trying. They're too late. Boeing assumed that pilots would hit the switches within four seconds, underestimating real-world reaction times. And they're pulling mightily. You can see all these efforts to pull the nose up. Sink right. Sink right. And it takes a huge amount of human force that humans just don't have to overcome a full nose-down trim position. And there's nothing more that they can do, and they have to try to save this flight. So in desperation, they turn the electric trim back on. All right, start the trim color switches normal. It's a last throw of the dice, and MCAS is back in the cockpit and in control. Pitch up, please. Pitch up, please. MCAS came in made another nose-down input and sent the plane into a deadly dive.